What's happening guys, I'm TechSource, welcome to Setup Wars episode 177, Ultimate Edition. The episode that everyone has been waiting for. I hope you guys are buckled in because this episode is gonna be a good one. Let the Setup Wars begin. Hey guys, so right now you can get a Windows 10 Pro CD key for less than 15 freaking dollars. But if you guys use the code TS20, you can get an extra 20% off from yourcdkeys.com. So check the link below if you're interested. This is crazy. This first setup needs no introduction. He has already been on the show once before, but he's back with a brand new setup. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you have the lube ready for your eyes. So I'm gonna try and dissect it as much as I can because the planning and execution behind all of this is nothing short of incredible. So Pirate spent about a good month rebuilding the setup and this entire room is split into two different sections and each section has its own purpose. The main setup which is used for productivity and gaming consists of three 27 inch gaming monitors and an ultra wide up top all from ASUS and they are mounted against this beautifully custom made backboard. In fact the entire tabletop was made out of tempered glass. The side and top panel is slightly transparent, allowing some of the RGB lighting to illuminate through, which just looks amazing. He's rocking the Razer Huntsman Elite keyboard and a couple of mice. We got the glorious Model O and the Razer Mamba. For audio, he's got a pair of speakers from Audio Engine and an Astro A50 headset that is skinned in white to stay consistent with the color scheme of his setup. The same goes for his Blue Yeti microphone and even the boom arm is in white. I love that he drilled a hole in the desk to route the keyboard and mouse wires through along with the speaker wires in the back. This is probably the only time I'm okay with having a PC on the floor. Pirate made a custom cutout underneath for his Razer Leviathan soundbar and his gaming PC which is perfectly centered right underneath the desk. It is packing some serious specs with an i9 9900K, 32 gigs of RAM and two ASUS Strix 1080 Ti's in SLI. Of course, he's got to top off the setup with some Nanoleaf panels, a total of 80 panels across the setup to be exact, and there's even a few RGB strips hidden behind the frame of the setup. To the left of the main setup is a massive collection of over 500 Funko Pops, which are sitting on custom-made shelves, each with its own RGB strip going across the tempered glass. On the opposite side, he has another custom-made wall shelf that starts from the right side of the room and pretty much just wraps around the entire room. There are over 70 exclusive limited edition statues and collectibles on those wall shelves and each section has a recessed light to give each collectible a spotlight. But what I like most about the shelves are the custom LED strips behind it which are all connected and controllable using a smartphone. Even some of the lights in the ceiling. Now on the opposite side of his main setup is the gaming only setup which has its very own custom PC rocking an 8700K, 32 gigs of RAM and the Gigabyte Aura's RTX 2080 Ti which is mounted diagonally. I gotta say I'm really digging those Royal RAM sticks in combination with that RGB 24 pin cable. There's just so much bling in that build. The PC is hooked up to a 65 inch 4K OLED TV which is perfectly mounted inside the wall shelf and below that he has just a few of his consoles which are skinned in red carbon fiber skins. Also the two Nintendo Switches apparently are custom painted and I gotta give Pirate some props for that statue of Guts on the left side. That thing looks so badass. The entertainment section also has a custom made coffee table with a built in compartment to store his Corsair lapdog with a wireless keyboard and mouse. I mean this guy has thought of everything. But of course we are not done yet. On the right side of the entertainment setup is another custom made wall shelf filled with 10 more PS4 special edition consoles including the PlayStation, PlayStation 2 and the original PlayStation 3. I mean seriously, wow. He even installed a wall shelf which he painted in black just to hold up his Wi-Fi router. I mean the attention to detail is beyond anything I've seen on the show. Now with all that said, there are a few slight imperfections I have noticed like the holes he drilled for the monitors against the backboard. The original holes were left alone and it's visible from the sides and an easy fix to this would be to use these white dot stickers to cover up the holes. Also, you would be getting the best possible sound if you just rotate the speakers slightly so that they are angled facing you. And finally, there are a few cables kind of visible when you're looking straight at the monitors, but that's just nitpicking small things that don't really matter. And I'm pretty sure Pirate is well aware of these and most likely fixed them at this point. 
absolutely brilliant setup and gaming room from Pirate Gamer. I didn't expect anything less from him. But ladies and gentlemen, it is with great pleasure and honor to present Pirate Gamer with the official Setup Wars seal of approval. Custom made out of glass with a granite base weighing about two pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the newly redesigned seal of approval only given out to the best of the best setups in the world. I think that we can all agree that Pirate Gamer is worthy of the seal of approval. And I know you're watching, so make sure to toss an email to setupwords at gmail.com gmail to claim your one of a kind, <laughs> one of a kind plaque. I can't even speak today. Uh, congratulations, dude. Honestly, just amazing setup. And I feel like I speak for everyone on the channel when I say that we are super excited and can't wait to see what you come up with next. Keeping the momentum going is Rodolfo from Texas and his ridiculous quad display multi-purpose setup that he built inside his garage because the rest of the rooms in his house are occupied by his kids and he didn't want to build his setup in the living room. He pretty much uses this for everything from gaming to photo and video editing, music composition and gaming of course. He's got three 28 inch 4K gaming monitors from ASUS and a 50 inch 4K TV up top from Samsung that's mounted on a custom made stand which is made out of galvanized piping. The desk is also custom made out of the same piping and a few 2x10 wood pieces. He's kept the surface pretty organized with the Corsair Strafe RGB keyboard and the Glaive RGB mouse and a few of his consoles. Now he does use an audio interface for his AT2020 microphone off to the side and since he's into music production he does have quite a few audio sources. He's using the popular ATH M50Xs for monitoring audio and the HyperX limited edition Gold Cloud Alpha headset for gaming. As far as speakers, he has two of them. The Yamaha HS5s, which are mounted on the floor stands, and right on the top of the speakers are Logitech Z5500s. One cool modification that Rodolfo has done with the top speakers is the mount, which he custom made to position the speakers at an angle towards him. The same goes with the top speaker above the TV. The PC powering the setup is underneath the desk, which is understandable since there isn't any space on the desk or the sides due to the speaker stands. It's a great looking PC with a 6700K, 32 gigs of RAM, and an MSI GTX 1080. You know, having a PC right underneath the desk in the center like that helps with cable management because this way Rodolfo can just route the cable straight down and into the back of the PC. He did do a great job grouping up all the wires with some Velcro and everything is plugged into a power strip mounted underneath the desk. Also, I'll give you extra points for having your PC on top of a couple wooden planks instead of leaving it on your carpet like I've seen on other episodes. And another point for having that Horde symbol on your desk. Everybody knows that Horde is better than Alliance. Now, since this entire setup is inside his garage, Rodolfo hooked up ceiling curtains behind it for several reasons. It's mainly to cover up the stuff behind it and also absorb sound, but it also acts as a great reflector for the RGB lighting behind this setup. An excellent multi-purpose setup with lots of custom work done to it. It's a shame that your 2017 Mustang GT has to sit outside, but I'd much rather choose to have a battle station like this instead of using the space to store a vehicle. But I do have one really good question. What do you do for ventilation in there? Um, do you have like an AC system set up in there? Because in summer, I would imagine uh, it being really hot in there with all of that tech constantly producing heat. And number three is Sebastian from Romania and his productivity and gaming setup. Now the desk was custom made by him and it's large enough to support all three of his ultra rides. He also has a 47 inch TV mounted against the wall. Now on the desk we got the Red Dragon keyboard and the SteelSeries Rival 500 mouse. Since the desk is technically a corner desk, Sebastian did have some extra space on there to squeeze his gaming headset. But the main source of audio are the Akai speakers which he plays sideways so that the monitors don't interfere with them. He was also able to mount the center speaker above the middle monitor somehow, which was a great idea given the space limitations. The PC, just like the other triple monitor setups, is on the ground and it's got the 6700K and the Gigabyte GTX 970 along with a crap ton of fans. So check this out guys, he's got two intake fans in the front, two more fans positioned directly at the GPU, he's got three exhaust fans up top and two more 120mm fans sandwiching the 212 EVO cooler. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a tornado going on in there and the PC starts flying. When Sebastian gets bored of the usual games, he does bring in his racing cockpit, which I could just imagine him playing on those three ultra wides. That must be fun. Well, what can I say? I don't have any complaints when it comes to cable management. I think that Sebastian did a great job keeping things organized. I mean, it's lacking some personality, but overall it's a great setup nonetheless. Thank you for entering.
Most people with triple monitor setups are always faced with the same dilemma. Where should they put their PC? After all, the desk is being occupied by three monitors. Well, option number one is to buy a drawer or a side table and place it next to your setup, or you can simply leave it on the ground, or you can be creative like Simon and mount it on the wall. He's got a fully custom water-cooled system built on a giant piece of wood, and it's equipped with a 6700K and the GTX 1070. It looks pretty dope and I like the ignition lock for the start button, but one point of obvious criticism is the reservoir isn't straight, which is kind of affecting one of the bends. The cables from the system are wrapped in white cable sleeves and plugged directly into all three of his monitors. The outer two monitors are being held up with a custom wall mount that he made with a built-in storage for cables. That is pretty cool. The keyboard is also slightly modded. It has a custom paint job and the top plate has a vinyl wrap in wood which matches the PC colors. But if I'm being honest over here, there doesn't seem to be any consistency with the color scheme. I would have to say that the desk, which is made out of glass, is the biggest factor in all of this. The cable management, however, is pretty impressive for having a glass desk, but I do have one minor recommendation. You can use a zip tie or even a Velcro strap to tie both of those cable sleeves together, so that way it looks like there's only one sleeve going down the wall instead of two separate ones. You know, this setup has got me thinking into building a PC like this. Thank you, Simon, for entering. Last but not least, we have Patrick and his simple yet very clean setup that he uses for gaming, photo and video editing. You see Simon, now this is the type of desk that would have looked way better for your setup. Instead of the white Alex drawers, however, I would have gone with the brand ones instead to match your PC on the wall. Anyway, so Patrick is rocking a single 24 inch monitor with a 50 inch Samsung TV as an overhead. And actually this tabletop isn't from Ikea as I originally thought. It's originally a door which Patrick repurposed for his setup. He sanded the door down and applied multiple coats of mahogany stain. Nicely done. So we got the HyperX Alloy Core RGB keyboard and the rival 100 gaming mouse on the desk with a couple of fake plants as decoration. When he's gaming, he uses the Turtle Beach Black Ops 2 limited edition headset, but if he's traveling, he switches to his Bose QuietComfort 35s. I'm usually against having extra items on the desk that are not being used, but I'll give Patrick a pass since he kept the surface nicely organized. I mean, if he really wanted to, he can store the PS4 controllers and the AirPods in the drawers. What I don't agree with is that cup holder. I feel like a simple coaster would have looked a lot cleaner instead of having something stick out from the desk like that. Also, that's pretty close to your arms. What if you turn around quickly and accidentally knock over the drink? Then what? And finally, we got the PC powering the setup, which has a Ryzen 7 2700X and an RTX 2080 inside the gorgeous Silverstone PM01 case. An excellent setup you have put together here, Patrick. Thank you for entering. And that does it for this episode of Setup Wars. As always, make sure you guys vote in the comment section on who has the best desk setup. Obviously, don't vote for Pirate Gamer because he is taking home the seal of approval. Aside from him, who has the best setup on the show? Let's put it that way. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the Ultimate Edition, make sure to smack the crap out of the like button. And if you guys didn't, you know what to do. I love your beautiful, beautiful faces. And I will see you guys in the next one. I couldn't, I couldn't think of anything clever.